In this presentation, we will be learning about the general care and hygiene of patients and prevention of bed sores. The presentation has been prepared by Mrs. Minakshi Kapadia, in charge nurse, Community Oncology Center and Hospice, Ahmedabad, Gujarat. What are the basic needs of a patient? Total care. This involves oral care, skin care, eye care, hair care, perineal care, nail care and ear and nose care. Physical care and personal hygiene, how it helps the patient? It refreshes the patient, cleanses and removes the bacteria, prevents infection and inflammation, passive exercise and massage is there, improves circulation of the patient, prevents skin drying, sores and ulcers, allows observation, allows communication with the patient and contributes to the feeling of emotional well-being. Communicate to the patient before starting a procedure, explain what is being done, how it will be done so as to encourage cooperation of the patient. Materials for mouth care are for a conscious patient bowl of clean water, water, toothbrush, toothpaste, mouthwash, tongue cleaner, towel, bowl to collect dirty water and gloves if it is required at all. For unconscious or semi-conscious patient, we will need a bowl of clean warm water, forceps, cotton swab, tongue depressor, soda bicarb 1 is to 60 or mouthwash solution, glycerine, towel, gloves and disposable bag. Mouth care of conscious patients. First, again it is important to explain the procedure to the patient. Wash hands, properly position the patient, arrange all the items of the mouth care, assist in brushing, rinsing the mouth makes the mucous membrane moist and prevents tissue trauma during brushing. Wetting the brush makes the bristle soft and prevents tissue injury. Mouth care of the unconscious patient explain the procedure to the caregiver as the patient is not conscious. Wash hands, proper positioning of the patient, in this case it has to be side by side. Arrange all the items for the mouth care, prepare solution for mouth care, explain home remedies of mouth care, do not pour water into the mouth of an unconscious patient so as to prevent aspiration of fluid into the lungs, cotton not to be used as it is slippery when it is wet and does not clean a coated tongue or teeth. Material for bed bath, basin of water, you have to check the temperature whether it is suitable to the patient, two wash clothes or face towels, soap cake or liquid soap, a bathing towel, cologne is optional if required, cream or lotion, talcum powder and bed sheet to cover the patient. Now during bed bath you have to maintain the privacy and dignity of the patient, prepare table with all necessary equipments, 
expose part being cleaned one section at a time, first face, then ears, neck, upper limbs from arms to fingers, chest, shoulders to lower abdomen, change water and add cologne if needed, back of nape of neck to hips, lower limbs to toe one at a time. First clean the part away from you, followed by the part closer to you. Use circulatory movements. In this chart we are displaying the sequence of cleaning. How to clean the nose and ears? Keep the nose clear with soft handkerchief or earbuds. Remove secretions and crust gently. Clean the ears inside and outside gently. And remove wax and keep free from discharge with a earbud. How to take care of eyes? In case of unconscious patient, during sweeping and swabbing of the floor, cover the patient's eyes. Use boiled and cooled water for cleaning, eyes from inner side to outer side. Use artificial tears to prevent dryness of the eyes. How to give nail care? Keep nails clean and short. Cut nails once a week. Wipe nails with soap water after cutting. Observe for any nail infection or thickened nails. Who needs perineal care? The perineum in humans is the space between the anus and scrotum in the male and between the anus and vulva in the females. Bedridden patients need it, unconscious patients need it. And patients who had surgery in perineal area need this. For perineal care, materials are basin of water, plastic sheet, wash clothes and towel. Privacy again is very important. Explain the procedure to avoid embarrassment to the patient. Cover the legs with a sheet. Place a plastic sheet under the patient, ask the patient or assist to spread the legs, clean with a watch, soap with cloth, clean with another wash cloth with clean water, clean from top to bottom, clean area sides then center of the perineum, use cotton swabs instead of wash cloths, dispose away the used gloves and wash hands with soap and water after giving perineal care. Hair wash, the material required is shampoo, towel, bucket of water, empty bucket to collect water and long plastic sheet to form a cape. Place the head on the plastic sheet that forms a cape and let one end go into the bucket to collect the water. Wash hair gently with shampoo, rinse well, make the patient sit and wipe dry. When the hair is dried, comb the hair neatly. Hair care, comb hairs twice daily, hold hair at the roots and comb from the ends, massage the scalp is required. Oil and plate along air, two plates, one on each side. Check and treat for dandruff or lice. Wash hair once a week. Skin care. Nurses responsibility in giving bed bath. Preparation of articles, patient and unit. The skin on the back of the hand is a sensitive area to assess the temperature of the water. After care of the patients and articles, remove the soap completely from the patient's skin to avoid 
the drying effect. Avoid bathing a patient soon after a meal as it depletes the blood supply to digestive organ and interfere with the digestion. Avoid use of excess of spirit as it causes rapid evaporation and excessive cooling of the body and causes drying of the skin. How to give back care? Massaging is very important. Vertebral compression is required. Discourage the use of talcum powder. Keep the skin dry. Provide a therapeutic bed if possible and application of emollients. Bed linen to be changed every day and when soiled or wet. Use a plastic sheet below the bed sheet. Place a draw sheet under the patient to change when wet and keep the patient dry. Follow bed changing procedures to change the sheet. Prevention of bed sores or pressure sores. What is a bed sore and how it is formed? Bed sore are a lesion or break in skin caused by unrelieved pressure resulting in damage of the underlying tissue. It is caused due to constant pressure on the skin which causes poor blood supply to the skin and leads to dead skin. This dead skin breaks by shear and friction and causes wound or ulcer. This wound gets infected causing foul smell, pus, discharge, bleeding and even maggots infestation. Bed sores occur in bedridden immobile patients. We can see initially you will find only redness is there. Uh, here is the starting of a bed sore. Slowly the size may increase. We can see this is what has happened. Here is a bed sore in the toe and here in the hip region. So, these are basically the pressure points which turn into bed sores. So, common sites of bed sores, the most common is sacrum or tailbone, heels, hips, scapula, ears and scalp. So, we can see here the various pressure points being created when a person is lying in the normal position and reverse position. Here we can see the bed sores in a sitting person. So, these are the various pressure points and we have to keep changing the position of the patient so as to avoid the bed sores. So, who are at risk of developing bed sores? The impaired mobility patients, patients with urinary incontinence where the urine leaks continuously, where there is fecal incontinence. So, the motions are not stopped and they there is leakage continuously and those who have poor nutritional status. Problems in case of bed sores may be pain, infection, poor quality of life, increased health care cost and ultimately death. Now, here we are describing the stages of pressure So, initially there is redness, then an ulcer is there, it turns into a wound and finally, this wound reaches up to the bone. Prevention is better than cure, we have always heard and that is true even for the bed sores. General skin care of bedridden patients is very important. 
daily skin inspections of high risk individuals should be done. A skin cleansing is important. Minimize drying and cracking of the skin. Minimize constant wet skin. Cleanse skin with warm water with mild soap. Massage is very important and use briefs or absorbent under the pads. Pressure reduction is possible by early mobilization of the patient whenever po possible. Repositioning, change of position of the patient at least every two hours. Use of water bed wherever possible. Use of air bed. If bed sore occurs, then dressing of the wound as per the doctor's advice. Thank you.